Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a horror film, SLR. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. In the opening scene, a student nervously prepares to take a picture of a girl with a single lens reflex camera. He seems afraid to take the picture as if the camera might kill her, but the girl doesn't think so and insists that he press the button. The scene is interrupted and we meet a photography student named Dan. Later, the student shows his professor some pictures he took of the girl, but professor is dissatisfied with his work. He asks him to come up with a new topic for the final exam and to meet him on Sunday at his house. That night, Dan meets his school friends, Nam and Great, and they celebrate his birthday together. Great gives him a projector that shows pictures of his and Nam's graduation. Since they are graduates, Great and Nam are going to continue their studies in New York. Dan gets sad because he hasn't graduated yet, but if he passes the last exam, he will also receive a scholarship to go to New York. That night, Dan's mother calls to invite him to his uncle's birthday party. On Sunday, Dan visits Professor's house to talk about the project. Dan plans to use the old camera that his mother gave him. Professor takes out a single-lens reflex camera that he had used for his graduation project. He gives it to him and asks to photo seven people over the next 14 days. If he completes this project successfully, he will be nominated for the New York Scholarship. Later, Dan goes to a stadium to photo several athletes. When he photos one particular athlete, he notices a white shadow covering his face, and the strange thing is that this does not happen when he photos other athletes. After the race, Dan approaches that particular athlete and takes more pictures of him. At one point, he notices a girl in the frame who quickly disappears. Later that day, Dan works on images of the athlete while he is still in the locker room. The athlete begins to breathe heavily and his reflection in the mirror smiles evilly at him. Dan notices something strange in the images of the athlete and in the next scene, the man has hung himself from a ceiling fan. The next day, Dan finds a homeless man in front of his studio and photos him. Then he meets Professor and shows him the pictures he took of the athlete. Professor appreciates them and tells him to keep going. Later, Dan visits a well-known restaurant in his town. He starts taking pictures of the restaurant owners, but a girl appears in the man's frame. Dan is shocked and confused, but remains silent. Nam realizes that Dan is using the camera of a girl who had died of a heart attack. She cannot understand how the camera got into Professor's hands. At that moment, Nam receives a phone call from Great informing her of the athlete's death. But there is something wrong with this story because the athlete was crippled and it is unclear how he got to the ceiling fan. The next scene shows the restaurant owner working. At one point, she freezes as if she's been possessed and begins to slowly climb the stairs. The scene shifts to Nam analyzing the account of the dead girl who originally used the same camera. Nam discovers that the girl was depressed and calls a friend of hers to find out more information about her. The next day, Dan attends his uncle's birthday party. The uncle asks him to take a picture of them, and Dan takes the camera. He's about to press the button, but then he stops, saying his mother is missing. Dan finds his mother in the hallway, watching the girl play the piano. Dan starts to take a picture of the piano girl, but suddenly, the two restaurant owners appear in the frame and lash out at him. Afterward, he wakes up in his room and begins to hear frightening noises. Looking around, he spots black smoke outside the door. He then looks in the mirror and notices that the skin is falling off of his hand. Nam arrives at the site where the athlete committed suicide and meets his coach. The coach says that athletes with high expectations are under pressure, but he did not expect something like this to happen. That night, Dan has a nightmare in which he sees the restaurant owners killing each other and wakes up terrified. Dan goes to Professor and asks him if there is something wrong with the camera, revealing the athlete's death. Professor states that everyone will die sooner or later and repeats to Dan that if he completes this project, it will make the world appreciate him. The next day, Nam meets with her friend to talk about the previous owner of the camera. The friend reveals that the girl who used that camera originally was obsessed with the graduation project and behaved strangely. In addition, her appearance had also deteriorated, but despite others' advice to see a doctor, she ignored them. Knowing that, Nam realizes this is happening to Dan as well, and she begins to worry. In a flashback, we learn that the girl was constantly haunted by an entity in the form of black smoke. Eventually, the entity kidnapped the girl, leaving behind only the camera. Back to the present, Dan helps Great with a photo shoot. As Great tells him about the startups of the people they have to take photos of, Dan looks at them with envy and says they can do anything they want just because they are rich. Later, Great receives a phone call from Nam, who asks him what camera Dan used today for the photo shoot. Great reveals that he used their digital camera rather than his own. The two then meet and examine the notebook of the camera's previous owner, where they discover that she was reading Satan's Bible. 
Great then calls Dan to ask for an update on the photos, and Dan reveals that he's developing them. At that moment, we see a scene where Dan takes the camera from his backpack and takes pictures of the trio. The team finishes work, and they decide to take a break. A woman goes to the bathroom, where she notices something strange in the reflection. At the same time, a door opens by itself. Her two business partners witness the same anomalies. Subsequently, all of them are possessed and uncontrollably head to the roof of the building. The girl starts doing a live stream on social media, and then they jump off the roof while smiling. The next day, Great and Nam tell Dan about the camera and believe it's cursed. Dan gets furious and says it's nonsense. While Dan is talking to his mother on the phone, Nam takes the camera out of his backpack and goes to ask Professor about it. Nam tells him that Dan had took pictures of six different people and all of them had died. To prove that she's talking bullshit, Professor invites her to take a picture of him to see if he will die. When Nam gets ready to press the button, she notices that the artwork behind him is moving and gets scared. Nam backs away and says they have to throw the haunted camera away, but Dan grabs it and storms off. Later, Dan visits his uncle in the hospital, where we find out that he is in a coma. Dan remembers that he has only five days left to deliver the project. He pulls out his camera and takes a picture of his uncle as he dies. In the next scene, Dan is in his apartment, and he hears unusual sounds. He freaks out, starts destroying all the pictures, and furiously throws the camera at the mirror, smashing it to pieces. He then repeatedly slams the camera against the floor, destroying it. Later, he loses consciousness and falls to the floor. When he wakes up, he finds the camera on the table. He picks it up and rushes to the terrace to throw it away. Dan feels sick and struggles to breathe. Suddenly, a woman in heels enters his room and looks at his face, which is slowly deteriorating. The woman reveals the camera and turns into a demon, flexing her demonic muscles. Dan later wakes up from the nightmare. Much to his surprise, he notices that the camera is still on the table. Terrified, he decides to take his own life, but a notification interrupts him. It's from a model asking him to do a photo shoot. Dan agrees, saying he will do it for free. The next day, he's preparing to photo that model, but Nam arrives and asks her to leave. Nam challenges him to photo her, and as Dan prepares to take the picture, Professor is performing a kind of dance in his studio. Then he turns around and reveals his demonic eyes. Suddenly, Dan violently throws the camera and begins to cry with tears in his crocodile eyes. He says he didn't mean to kill those people, and his friends comfort him. Later, Nam reveals that he found Professor's artwork on a site about Satanism. At that moment, Dan spots the homeless man he photoed before using the same camera, who is not dead. So they rush to Dan's workshop and realize that the homeless man and the piano girl are still alive because their eyes aren't visible in the photos. They then go to an antique store, where the owner informs them that according to legend, cameras can capture souls, kill people, and make sacrifices to demons. Nam asks about the painting kept by Professor in his study. The owner opens a book, and under that particular painting is written Mammon. It's revealed that during the Middle Ages, Mammon was commonly personified as the demon of wealth and greed. He states that those who possess this painting are gifted with powers, but they must sacrifice seven souls to the devil in exchange, or else the demon will come for their very souls. With this information, it is clear that Professor uses his naive students to do the dirty work. He has one of his students take the pictures to sacrifice the seven souls to the devil so that he can take advantage of the painting's powers. The first victim was the exact girl who used the camera and died. She was unable to photo the seven people, so the demon came for her. The store owner informs them that tomorrow, the portal to hell will open, and the demons will come to take the sacrificed souls. Now, the victim is Dan, and he has to photo another person if he wants to prevent the demon from taking his soul. The group asks if they can do anything, and the owner gives Dan a bracelet so he can protect himself from the demons. He also gives Gray a black stone that may be useful in fighting the demons. The action moves to an exhibition of the evil professor, where Dan intends to photo him with a cursed camera, making him the demon's next victim. With some difficulty, Dan manages to take a picture of him, and then they go to his lab to develop the photo, but they notice that his eyes are closed to the camera, meaning that he's not cursed yet. Then Nam finds another shot, in which Great's face has been captured by the reflection of a photo, and his eyes are visible. Soon enough, Great begins to hallucinate, and Dan removes the bracelet to put it on his friend's hand to prevent his soul from being taken away. The demons finally arrive, and Dan intends to sacrifice himself. So he goes to the exhibition to take a picture of himself, standing in front of the painting. Suddenly, Professor shows up and tries to urge him not to do it, apparently because the ritual wouldn't work if Dan took the picture of himself. But as a trick, Dan steps out of the frame and starts taking pictures of Professor, causing him to cover his shy face immediately. 
but this time Dan catches him in a reflection and then escapes like a paparazzo. He meets up with Great and Nam. As they go to the lab, they discover the body of a girl in front of them. She begins to come to life and pursues them on all fours. The three retreat to a room where they notice a ceiling fan with a metal attached to it. Then they find the athlete's body on the floor, trying to attack them, but Great hits it with a piece of iron, and they run away. They reach some stairs and are attacked by the restaurant owners. During the fight, the ghost wife accidentally hits her husband with the knife, after which Dan pushes her ghostly but still heavy body down the stairs. They arrive in a hallway and try to get out, only to find the door blocked. Then a demonic shadow is seen approaching and is revealed to be Professor's assistant. Meanwhile, Dan escapes to a movie theater where he is haunted by the ghost athlete. Then, the ghosts of the other people he photographed earlier fall from the attic. Meanwhile, Nam and Great hide in the bathroom, but a ghost starts smashing the door with an axe. Great hits the door with his smelly foot, pushing the ghost against the wall. Great hits the ghost in the head with the camera, and then he encourages Nam to escape. In the process, the ghost gets up, trying to kill him with the axe. Great falls to the ground and loses his bracelet, causing him to get possessed. The ghost picks up the axe again and tries to hit Great, but Nam drags his handsome body back, managing to dodge the blow. But the ghost cuts his bag and Great's stone falls to the ground. Meanwhile, Dan is also being tormented by the other ghosts. But suddenly, the black stone activates and begins to draw all the ghosts into it. Dan realizes that all the ghosts are gone, but he hears a terrifying roar. Then he encounters the demon that appears in the form of a giant monster. He tries to escape, but the devil chases him after his smell, attacking him and knocking him to the floor. Next, Professor arrives, informing Dan that his time is up. He asks him to hand over the last photo, but Dan escapes and goes to the exhibition. Professor asks him to give him the last photo if he wants to be free again, but Dan decides to sacrifice himself and jumps into the demon's jaws. He wakes up in a black room, and Professor takes the form of his mother, Great, and Nam, to push him to give him the last photo. Eventually, Professor takes what is supposed to be the film containing the picture, but realizes it is only a keychain. It's revealed that while Dan and Nam were running from the ghosts, they made an exchange. He had given Nam the original film and taken the keychain. Professor says Dan's time is up, thinking that the demon will come and take his student's soul. But at that moment, Great and Nam finish developing Professor's picture, causing the demon to take his soul. Finally, Great and Nam reach the exhibition gallery and awaken Dan, sound and safe. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.